Have you ever thought about that old movie, A Streetcar Named Desire? Well, there's a bunch of interesting stuff about it that might surprise you. Back in 1951, this movie came out telling the story of a woman named Blanche Dubois who moves in with her sister Stella and her husband Stanley Kowalski in New Orleans. Things get messy when Stanley and Blanche clash, revealing secrets and problems. One cool thing is that Marlon Brando, who played Stanley, made up some of his lines on the spot, making his character feel more real. Also, Vivian Lee, who played Blanche, was dealing with mental health issues during filming, which added depth to her acting. Even though it's been more than 70 years since it was released, the ideas in A Streetcar Named Desire still matter today. It talks about things like wanting things, mental health, and what society expects from us. Now, what about you? Do you have any memories or stories about this movie? Feel free to share in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So, stay tuned for more cool facts about this movie. There's a lot more to learn. In the heart of bustling New Orleans, a powerful story unfolds, drawing viewers into the tangled web of human relationships. This tale revolves around a woman seeking solace with her sister, only to find herself caught in a storm of emotions with her sister's aggressive husband. Directed by a skilled filmmaker, the movie delves deep into the struggles of its characters, shedding light on the complexities of their lives. At its core lies a captivating portrayal of societal pressures and their effects on individuals, a theme explored with remarkable depth. The lead actor's performance is captivating, embodying the character's intense energy and raw emotions with remarkable skill. Alongside them, the actresses deliver equally compelling performances, breathing life into their roles and bringing depth to the story. Despite facing challenges upon its release, this movie remains a timeless classic, its theme striking a chord with audiences even today. Its gripping conclusion leaves a lasting impression, prompting reflection on the human condition and the dynamics of society. Adapted from a renowned playwright's work, the screenplay weaves a rich narrative, transporting viewers to the colorful streets of New Orleans. The director's vision breathes life into every scene, infusing them with tension and emotion, captivating audiences from start to finish. In summary, this movie offers a riveting exploration of human nature, tackling taboo subjects with honesty and depth. Its stellar performances, engaging narrative, and thought-provoking themes make it a must-watch for anyone seeking an immersive cinematic experience. In the world of movies, sometimes the choices actors make can shape how we remember them. For example, Mickey Coon, the last surviving member of a famous film, passed away in November. He left behind memories that many people will always remember. The movie he was in gained new attention after his death, even becoming one of Akira Kurosawa's favorite films. Another actor, Marlon Brando, made a decision later in his career that he might have regretted. He decided to star in a movie called The Island of Dr. Moreau. Unfortunately, this movie wasn't well received and Marlon Brando even won an award for his performance in it, but not a good one. This decision put a shadow over his great career for a while, even though he had been brilliant in other movies before. Sometimes it's not just the famous roles that actors play that make them memorable but also the decisions they make throughout their lives. Mickey Coon and Marlon Brando both left their mark on the history of movies in different ways. People who love movies still talk about them and study their work today. Considered one of the most important movies in American history, it made a big impact when it came out. The main actor, Marlon Brando, was the first guy to get paid over a million bucks for a movie role in Hollywood. Even though he said no to some big parts before, he ended up getting paid a ton for his later jobs because he was really good at negotiating. Brando won a bunch of Oscars because he was so good at acting, which made him really famous. The movie, where Brando did a really great job, is still loved by lots of people today. It's a classic American film that many folks enjoy watching. In the realm of classic movies, there are some actors who truly left their mark. One such actor was Carl Malden, who starred in several films that got nominated for the top Oscar award. Two of these films, On the Waterfront and Patton, even won the Best Picture Oscar. Malden's acting brought depth and realism to his characters, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Another star of the silver screen was Vivian Lee, known for her role in Gone with the Wind. She won the Best Actress Oscar for her performance, making her one of the few actresses to achieve this honor. The movie itself was a massive undertaking, completed in just 36 days, and it showcased the talent and dedication of everyone involved. These movies, ranging from gritty dramas to epic tales, still captivate audiences today. They remind us of the skill and passion that went into making them. 
Carl Malden, and Vivian Lee's work in these films continues to inspire filmmakers and movie lovers around the world. Marlon Brando, known as one of the best actors in movies, changed the way acting was done with his method technique. He was voted the top legend in a poll in 2009. Before Marlon Brando, Joan Fontaine was thought about for the part of Stella in the movie. Brando's different way of acting made a big impact on American movies. He really got into his roles, changing how acting was done in movies. These things show why he's seen as an icon of the big screen, going beyond others in his field. In the 1951 movie A Streetcar Named Desire, Carl Malden, a well-known actor, had strong connections with many famous people like Norman Lloyd, Harry Morgan, Lee J. Cobb, Angela Lansbury, Telly Savalas, and others. Vivian Lee, although she's British, became famous for playing Southern American women and won Oscars for her roles. Marlon Brando, another important actor in the movie, is mentioned in songs by The Killers, The Cult, and Slipknot. These connections show how influential the people involved in the movie were, making it important in cinema history. In a rare move, the film version of a popular Broadway play kept most of its original cast, giving it a unique flavor. Even though Vivian Lee was cast as Blanche Dubois instead of Jessica Tandy to boost the movie's star power, the majority of the Broadway actors reprised their roles. Marlon Brando, who wasn't yet a big movie star, played a significant role, but was billed under Lee. This film is recognized as one of the few that significantly impacted American cinema. Marlon Brando, known for his memorable roles, showed kindness by accepting a lower pay for a later movie, with the condition that the producers donate a large sum to charity. Despite facing personal challenges, Brando left behind a considerable estate valued at over $20 million when he passed away in 24. Marlon Brando, known for his iconic roles, delivered a memorable performance in A Streetcar Named Desire, but faced an incident during its production. He suffered a broken nose while demonstrating his boxing skills offstage. Meanwhile, Carl Malden, also part of the cast, honed his craft at the Stella Adler Studio of Acting. Later, Brando's portrayal in On the Waterfront earned him a spot among the greatest movie characters. Despite setbacks, the cast's dedication added depth to the film, making it a classic in cinema history. In the movie, Vivian Lee portrayed a pregnant character, earning her the Best Actress Oscar, a feat shared by only 11 other actresses, including Frances McDormand for Fargo. Marlon Brando expressed his aspiration to produce a definitive film about Native Americans, using earnings from acting, a passion project that never materialized. Vivian Lee starred in three Oscar Best Picture nominees Gone with the Wind, A Streetcar Named Desire, and Ship of Fools with the former winning the category. These details shed light on the diverse talents and ambitions within the cast.